Hey guys, it's me Narelle here and welcome back to a new video. This video is going to be a type of video that I personally don't do because I feel like it doesn't suit my channel. But I decided since I am being one of those hoarders buried alive people <laughs> and cleaning out my room and just kind of sorting out what I want and what I don't want, I came across a art supply in which I have not used in a very long time. And I'm like, you know what? Let me just make this video a battle type of video, comparing these two supplies, and these two supplies are well known. Everybody and the mama have given their opinions on these two art supplies, so um, I'm just going to say what they are. So the first one is the Prismacolor colored pencils, in which I pretty much boasted about for a good two to three years. And the next one, which is already kind of guessable, the Crayola coloring pencils, which I have been using like no other. A lot of people have been comparing these pencils for a long, long time. And I'm like, you know what, guys, since I am color pencil savvy <laughs> I thought that you know let me just give my own opinions on these pencils because I've used them for a long period of time and I can give you my hot tea on these alrighty guys so the test subjects for this video is my male persona Mamaru with his boyfriend Emil who is the male persona of one of my best friends named Zelo Snow I will put her account in my description box below like I said people shipped us a long time ago so we made us male personas and we made them a fabulous gay couple so um for Mamaru I decided to use the Prisma colors because I live for the Prisma color reds and I know if I did Emil I would be like Prisma colors but no I'm like I'm gonna go new and fresh with this and decide to use the Prisma colors on Mamaru because to be honest I don't really have a lot of Prisma color blues that really blend that well but you know what i am open to try new things so this is how it turned out i did um have some clips in here real time because i want you guys to kind of see how i colored in real motion then just the speed through of the video so um my opinions on prisma colors i'm gonna start off with the pros the pros are they blend beautifully I love the way they blend that was really the main reason why I got them because they're super nice super creamy and the colors are like ah uh, like God is raining down on you I freaking love them um, I really can't say anything else because that's like the biggest pro of Pr Prisma colors so yes their blending is ah uh, amazing um the cons which i have many um the cons are they are expensive i think i have the set of i don't know i think 36 or 48 and they cost me 60 dollars 60 big ones on some pencils that can break as soon as you drop them so the price is a little bit ridiculous to be honest um, Prisma colors um, to blend them the way gods want them to blend. You have to press really hard, which you can see here. You have to press your hand hard, man, to get them colors and mix well because you know if you go soft, you're not going to get that effect. And one thing about the blending is that you cannot choose colors that look alike because you're not going to get that blend you have to choose colors that are different yet alike to get the blend to be beautiful because yeah so i think in total on each part i use like three to four different colors for his, ha his hair his face his outfit just to kind of get that blend and it is kind of annoying to be honest and prisma colors does smear your line art so you would have to reline certain things if you wanted to 
stand out more. But um, overall, I like using Prismacolor color pencils. I haven't used them in a hot minute, but doing this again kind of dived me back into the main reason why I did like them. So yes, yeah, so if you guys liked the effect Mamoru got by using the Prismacolors, maybe you ought to try him. So next, we're moving on to the Crayola side. Alrighty, so now we're on the Crayola side of the video. So for the positives about Crayola, they're super cheap. For one, you could get a pack of 100 for $10. So if you guys are not ready for the expensive art brands, start off with Crayola, it's amazing. And you get a whole bunch of colors that is legit stunning. And you're just like, how in the heck can I work with all these colors? Like, it's amazing. Um, the pencils give you that slow buildup moment because with me, Prisma colors are too there. And I kind of like to work my way up there so I know how how dark and how light I want my color to be um, and the pencils don't break as much as Prisma colors so they're really good pencils for a very low price I love them um, so the negatives is the matter of the fact that the slow buildup is not a negative for me it's more of a negative for other people because I know a lot of people don't really like the slow buildup thing um, another negative for me is the way it lays on the paper. Like, you can see your stroke lines with the pencil, and even if you add on the, the color, um, you can still see where you stroke the pencil at. Um, and another thing about Crayolas that I just thought about that I don't like about them is that, I don't know, it's kind of hard to get them dark. As you can see, I was pressing hard on these pencils, um, to get them dark, and some of the colors just aren't there enough to get you a darker tone. So, that's the thing that I'm just, like, eh about, but again, I work my way to use both of these pencils at the same time, so I don't really need to worry about that. So, that's pretty much my thoughts and opinions of Prismacolor versus Crayola. Um, in my final thoughts, I will give you my final opinion <laughs> about these two pencils. But overall, I love them very much and they're both strong in each of their own ways. So I wouldn't really knock one or the other. I love them beautifully together and they do work beautifully together. So yeah, so moving on to my final thoughts. so that completes this video I had a lot of fun doing this video I wanted to do it for actually a while now but I wanted to actually grow my skills in both pencils so I won't really come off not knowing anything about them and since I did use these pencils for X amount of years I got knowledge guys Prisma colors they are very nice pencils they're they blend super nice and they, I love them I love them um the only downside they're expensive so if you really want to go the extra mile and get decent pencils that is not the polychromos for the Crayolas, I love them. They're my babies. I grew up with them, and I'm super biased towards them. But again, they're really cheap. But just because they're cheap doesn't mean they're not good. They're amazing. They're vibrant. I love them above a lot of the cheaper brands. Cough, cough, Rose Art. Cough, cough, Crazy Art. Am I saying you must have these two pencil brands? To make it as a colored pencil artist, no, you can get crazy art and still work. <laughs> That's pretty much it for this video. Again, I had a lot of fun, and I don't know. I think just working with two different supplies, or multiple supplies, I should say, kind of expands your art knowledge, because when I actually just used Crayola, I kind of only saw that kind of world, but now that I did use, did in past tense, because I don't use my Prismacolors anymore, but when I actually did use Prismacolor, I could see, oh my gosh, I could use a supply to give me a better advantage of what I want, but after a while, I kind of just went back to this supply and just kind of saw how beautiful it was. So, um, give this video a like if you liked it. Um, comment down what you think about Crayola and Prismacolor pencils because I know a lot of people do kind of battle out with these two pencils because they're kind of 
well-known pencils. <laughs> but yeah, so I guess I will leave you guys with that. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. And I promise I will bring much more new content like this in the near future on my channel. So yes, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you next time. Johnny! Me being a week, no.